Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Dibble, cardiologist at Pace Cardiology in Barrie, and today I want to talk to you about vaping. Like a lot of physicians, I'm becoming quite concerned about this because we're seeing a lot more problems in the U.S. and Canada than we used to, and we're starting to realize the severity of vaping and the illnesses it can cause. Uh, it's concerning because almost one in four teens are using vaping in schools, and the statistics have shown this to be the case. And you've probably heard about a few severe respiratory illnesses and even some deaths as a result. So it's important to understand what vaping is. People understand that smoking a cigarette is when you burn something and inhale the products. And that has all sorts of harm, not just the nicotine that you get, but also the burned products can promote cancer. So a lot of people think that vaping is a lot safer because there's nothing burned. It's just chemicals. Most often nicotine is one of them, but there are other chemicals in there like propylene glycol and vegetable glycerin. And these help to dissolve the materials that are being vaped. And so there can be nicotine, there can be cannabis, there can be flavors. And when these get lodged into the lungs, they can cause inflammation or even infection. And lungs are only meant to breathe in air, not all of these products. The problem is that a lot of people think vaping is safe because it's not the same as smoking. And although it might be safer than smoking cigarettes, it's definitely much more harmful than not doing any of it. The concern is that a lot of people, especially the youth of today, are thinking that it's, since it's safe, they're going to start using it. So of course, then they can become addicted to nicotine and all of the harm that can happen with that, but also all of the injuries that can happen to their lungs by inhaling all of those products that are in these e-cigarettes. So we never suggest to anyone that it's a safe product to use and people should stop trying it. In fact, Juul, which is one company that makes e-cigarettes, has a CEO who is stepping down because of this controversy and they're going to suspend all of their advertising. He makes it quite clear that people should not start vaping. He says the only people who should be using it are those who smoke cigarettes and are trying to get off cigarettes. So it's a step down towards the ultimate goal of not doing any of this. So please don't consider vaping to be safe. It's harmful, it's hurt people, it's killed people, and it's leading to all sorts of new nicotine addictions that should never have happened in the first place.